What would happen if an average age group triathlete devoted anything and everything over the course of about a year to train for their first Ironman? Just how fast would they go? How much could the average age grouper accomplish if they trained like a pro? It's an interesting question. So this question has always fascinated me. You see the, the type of training that the pros do and obviously the results that they get and how fast and strong they are. So I've always, I've always thought to myself, what would happen if uh, an age grouper, somebody you know who is just a very normal person, what if they started training like a pro? What would happen? How how far could they go? You know, I, I see those stories of the athletes who are very successful age groupers, and then they decide to go pro, and they totally overhaul their training, and they start doing double what they were doing before, and you know, they become successful professionals. And I've always been slightly curious. I was like, what would happen if you did all that training, if you did the professional level training as an age grouper? You would just show up to the race and completely destroy everybody. You would be in a totally different class. Obviously, there's a lot of reasons why people don't train like professionals, um, mostly being time. It, it takes a lot of time, and as age groupers, we have busy lives and things to do, and we don't have the time to train like pros. But I'm in a unique situation. There have been a few things that have happened, <coughs> COVID, outside of my control. I probably shouldn't cough when I say COVID, even though I'm trying to just like make a joke, but I just now realize it. Anyways, I have a lot of time. I have a lot of time right now. More time now than I will ever have probably in my life. So what better time to explore this question of what would happen if I trained like a professional, but not just for a week or a month, but for the better part of this year. Between now and my Ironman race, which is I think September 13th, 12th, I should probably know the exact date of it, Ironman Wisconsin, it's Ironman Wisconsin. I'm gonna train like a professional between now and Ironman Wisconsin. It's about 30 weeks. I think it was 30 weeks as of like yesterday. 30 weeks of me training like a professional. Just checking on the results from the Zwift race. Mm, yeah, we're, we're definitely eating again too. That's probably gonna be happening a lot over the next 30 weeks. This is my, what do I have in the fridge smoothie. It's actually not too bad, but it's just a mix of literally anything I can find in the refrigerator. So how am I doing this? How am I gonna be training like a pro? Well. I'm not gonna be doing it on my own, that's for sure. Uh, I tried to coach myself a few years ago and ended up actually getting a stress fracture. So it's a story for another time. But I, I have a lot of people around me that are gonna be helping me with this and people that I trust completely. So, I mean, most importantly is my tri coach, Adam Zuko over at Superfly Coaching. He gets me, he knows how I think, he knows um, how I'm gonna be responding to training, both physically and emotionally, and he just, he understands how I work, which is which is key. And also importantly, he's worked with like top level, front of the pack professionals. So when I tell him, hey, I wanna train like a pro for 30 weeks, he knows exactly what that looks like. He, he genuinely knows how to train professionals. Then I have a strength coach, Garrett, over at Champion Sports Advantage. Garrett actually works with Adam at Superfly, um, but I've actually hired Garrett independently of that to write strength specifically for my needs and limitations. So that stress fracture that I had a couple years ago still gives me issues every now and then. Um, actually, the whole left side is kind of weird. The glutes and hamstrings don't fire totally appropriately. Um, so Garrett has been great with giving me strength to try to balance things out, put things back in line, keep me put together, and in general, just make me a stronger athlete, which is key for Ironman. Then nutrition is being handled by uh, Wendy with Nutrition with Wendy, that's her company. I will link all of these people down below. You should definitely check them out. Wendy specializes in performance nutrition. And well, I just actually had my first phone call with her yesterday, so I'm not entirely sure how the relationship is gonna look. But basically she's gonna be handling all of the day-to-day -day nutrition for me. Finally, swimming. I have Tower 26 for my swims, which if you know me, you know that I'm a pretty good swimmer. I've been swimming my entire life. My, I think my best swim time and a half is like 
24, just under 25, which is, which is really quick. So begs the question, like, why a swim squad? Well, it's simple. I want to stay at the front. I want to continue to be a front pack swimmer. I know at Wisconsin, there's going to be a few people that can swim sub 50, you know, the former college swimmers and people. I want to be up there with them. I want to be in that front pack coming out of the water. I want to be the first person out onto the bike. But more importantly, I want to be the first person onto the bike having felt like the swim really wasn't that big of a deal. And the only way I'm going to be able to do that is if I'm swimming a lot and getting really good instruction. And I know Tower 26 is going to do that. But last but not least, the most important person in this entire challenge is my wife, Sarah. Because anyone who has trained for an Ironman or has a spouse that has trained for an Ironman knows that the significant other is usually the one who makes the most sacrifices. So knowing that I'm going to do a train like a pro challenge and knowing the kind of volume and intensity, what that means over the next 30 weeks, mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think? <laughs> I guess it's really hard to know what to think. I, right now, feel like, oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be a piece of cake, at least on my side. You're the one doing all the hard work, and I just feel like it's going to go well. I mean, you're going to be tired, I'm sure, sometimes, but I'm, I'm expecting you to still uh, be able to go to the grocery store and um, do some things around the house that you normally do, but I have no idea what it's going to be like in the future, thinking of when it's summertime and when you're going to be out doing five- or six-hour bike rides you know, before we used to do stuff like that together, obviously I can't do the kind of speed and paces and watts that you'd be training at. So I don't know. I'm I'm not involved. So I think I think I don't maybe know what I'm getting myself into, but I'm really excited for it, and I I don't think it's going to be that bad. Maybe um, triathlon spouses, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments because. I'm excited. So you, you on, on record, you okay. fully support the decision to train like a pro. I fully this year. support it. I mean, I've, it's not like you're going from no training to training 20 plus hours a week. I mean, training for triathlons has been a part of our lives since we've known each other. You know, we both were doing triathlons before we met, before we were dating, through the whole time we were dating and had been married. So I think training is just a part of our natural lives. And I think it sounds so awesome and fun. Um, so, yeah, I guess I don't, I think, I'm not worried. I just think training like a pro sounds amazing. And She, if you she the, said it, not worried, not worried. If you have worried. the opportunity to, to do this and spend this much time to devote to it, I think it's awesome. I don't know if there will be another time in your life where Probably you'll not. have this opportunity, this much time outside of, you know, before having a family you know, having definitely your job and your business that you work on during the day, but having, a, a, you know, time during the day to, to really get things done without other distractions. I think this, it's now or never to really go for this. So it's now. There we go. And I'm going to be documenting the whole process. Well, actually, she's going to be doing the one behind the camera most of the time now. Um, I have no idea how the videos are going to look. The whole vlogging style is going to be new for me. So we're going to be learning this together. I'm going to be trying to bring you weekly videos showing you the good, the bad, preferably a lot of the bad because a lot of people don't really show that. So I'm going to try to bring you all of the ups and downs of the whole thing, the whole process, gear selection, training, working with all the people that we've already talked about, all my coaches and support staff. And we're going to bring you along for the entire ride. And she's going to be the one behind the camera most of the time. So she's going to have to learn how to use this thing. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so, so sorry for all of you out yeah. there. <laughs> but with that, we will see you for the first training video next week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.